Have you ever felt your uh, seating space compromised? Uh, this is a problem called man spread. Uh, it's basically a problem that's started in New York, but you probably, indeed it's got a campaign running on it, but you've probably um, found it happening here. It's where men sit with their legs wide apart, uh, as if they're um, trying to get a bit of air down there, as it were. Is that probably the best way to describe it? Uh, <laughs> Uh, Grant, good morning to you. Good morning, John. <laughs> Sorry, I made myself laugh there, and I shouldn't have done that. Lovely to talk to you, former royal butler. Um, always, a, always a pleasure to have you on the program. Uh, Thanks you are, for back on. Uh, and you're a columnist for the Lady Magazine as well. I know you you teach manners. Yes. Um, men do seem to be sitting with their their um, their legs more apart than than together. I, is there an appropriate way for a man to sit? Well, do you know, you're absolutely right, because the other day I was actually, believe it or not, I was given a class on this subject, and it was actually to ladies who were all in complete agreement that this that this happens. And um, I can't believe that hideous term, manspread, I mean, it sounds awful. Well, it's, it's come from America, so oh, okay, that, that, may, that, that may give us a clue. Okay. Um, but it's, it's just, it's just, it's awful. And I mean, yes, there is a correct way to sit, which is very simply is, is to keep uh, legs together or, or, slight, or, or slightly together and crossed and keeping the back straight. Which I know, I know when uh, l- ladies, w- women sit, they should sort of have their legs together and slightly to one side, yes. shouldn't they? Yeah, so uh, abs- absolutely. So for a man, I'm, ju- I'm just doing this now, so we're all, we're all clear. <laughs> you don't do this if you're driving a car, because uh, th- unless you're on cruise control, no, don't do it. I'm just <laughs> uh, right. Okay, so you, as a man, I'm sitting in my chair right now, and how am I supposed to be sitting? So you'd be sitting with your back, so your your, your bottom's quite pushed into the back of the chair, your right. back straight, right, and you would have the legs together, or just just crossed, just crossed, and maybe just to the to the side. That's a, that, do you know what? That's really good for the posture. It's good posture, and it also I, I, I can guarantee that. With people around about you looking, you think, look how smart he looks. I don't know. Does my team think <laughs> I look smart? No, they're even paying any attention to you and me at all, Grant. So, but, but what's interesting, I am sitting up straighter, uh, and I do feel um, my posture is better just for doing that, whereas yes. manspread, where you sort of slouch a bit in the seat, your bum's in the middle of the seat, and you've got your legs wide apart as, as if to get a bit of air down there is not the way to see it. it it's awful and and when you see uh i mean a lot of people say that it's the the younger generation but i've seen both young and old doing it and it's mm. it's it's awful and and dare i say i've even seen ladies do it which is not a nice which no is no nice to say either <laughs> no, no, that and isn't. it's 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 awful and, and it's it's tricky, you know. What, what do you what do you do? And, and I I agree also that it's it's not good because it can take up a lot of room. So on a bus or a train, you where you you're competing for space, well, or you're you not comp- you should no, you shouldn't be competing for space because you have your allotted space, and there shouldn't be a competition. Well, they, they, again, going back to manners, you know, it's, it's thinking of thinking of others, and you, you the, hopefully people would would not do that, so that if people come onto the bus or the train, mm. there's plenty of room to them to sit down. They don't really want to be sitting down almost on your well, sitting on your lap, which is what would probably end up happening. Now, here's the here's the final question for you, Grant. Uh, and you're a man. Um, there's a lovely video of me on 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 our Facebook page of you showing me how to open and close a door, which yeah. I now do, by the way. Yeah. And I am now, thanks to you, I am now sitting properly in my seat. <laughs> how would you say? Grant to somebody who is man spread or indeed woman spread horrible thought uh, would you mind awfully closing your legs would you do a Sergeant Wilson well, <laughs> it, I, I, do, do you know I actually know people that would actually go up and, and say that and it, it's tricky because obviously you don't want to be rude to somebody no. but it's trying to maybe say something like did you realize you've got a hole in your jeans or something like that, where they'll suddenly very quickly cross their legs. So right. hopefully, uh, but it is. It's 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 an awful thing, and people do it. And and hopefully, uh, there's more of us that that, that don't. Um, but one thing I was going to quickly mention when you mm. talked about opening and closing the door, as we, as you put on the the Facebook, mm. did you see that it was on the um, the TV series? You can't get the staff. There was actually a section about opening and closing doors. Yes, I did. You did see it. I was thinking of you when we did that <laughs> scene. I was thinking. I hope John's watching this. I I I, I did. I didn't see the episode, I'm sorry to say, but I have got the video, and I, yeah, I'm yeah, i grateful because it has revolutionised the way I open and close doors, John. <laughs> A very simple thing, and I am now, thanks to you, sitting properly, and I'm very grateful for you, uh, as ever, for being on the programme. Grant Harold, you can find Grant uh, in The Lady Magazine or on Twitter. Grant, always a pleasure. Many Thank thanks you for your much, time. John. Thank, Thank you very you. much indeed there. Let's start a campaign. Let's start a campaign.